Steps in using a standard customary system are as follows. Step one, count the number of whole inches, write down this number. In, this, in these steps, we're going to really be working from left to right, just like we're reading a story or a book. So count the number of whole inches and write this number down. It's how many inches you're past. So if we have one inch and then we are past that inch, we would include that. If you are not past at least one whole inch, you do not need to include your whole inches in this process. Step two, find out how many parts the inches are divided into. Count the spaces in one inch. This number will be the denominator. So the denominator is on the bottom of our fraction. So how many spaces that are that length or longer do you have from your previous whole inch to your next whole inch? Count those how many spaces you have and then write that as your denominator in the fraction. Step three, count the number of spaces after the last whole inch. This number will be the numerator. So it so if from our previous whole inch forward, we're going to count how many spaces that are that size or longer and write that as the numerator, the top of the fraction. Step four, reduce fraction if necessary. If we have an even numerator and an even denominator, we must reduce that fraction. If you have two halves, we can divide two by two, we can divide those, the top and bottom, to reduce that fraction. If we had four fourths, we could reduce it to one inch. If we have two fourths, we could divide that to one half. Step five, identify your units. The units we are focusing on right now are inches, but we could be identifying yards, miles, feet, or inches. Remember that 12 inches equals one foot, 36, inch equal, 36 inches equals one yard, as well as three feet. Okay. Some ways that we can identify our units, we can write out the word mile or abbreviate that as MI. We can abbreviate yard, we can write out yard or abbreviate that as YD. For feet, we can write out the word feet if it's plural, foot if it's singular, we can identify it as FT, or we can abbreviate it as FT, or we can use a symbol, which would be one quotation mark, or a, a apostrophe is a symbol for feet. For inches, we can write out inch, singular, inches, plural, IN for the abbreviation, or use a single quotation mark for the for the symbol. If we look at the ruler ahead, we can see that we are past the whole inch. Note that these lines coming off of the ruler are called extension lines. These lines that are coming, leading us from our mystery measurement to what we're measuring, these are called leader lines. They lead us to our extensions from the object. This squiggly line, it's just a break line. It means somebody took our ruler and snapped it in half. So let's walk through this process. Because we are not landing on a whole inch, we know that we're going to have a fraction. Step one, we need to find our whole inches. We are past one whole inch, so we'll write down one. Next, we need to find our step two. Find the denominator. Once we find, so we need to count how many marks we have that are this size or larger from one inch to two inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So our denominator should be 16. Step three, we need to find our numerator. So we're gonna count up to this mark. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our numerator should be seven. Step four, reduce fractions if necessary. Because we have an odd over an even, we cannot reduce this fraction. Take a moment on your own and walk through these five measurements as a self-check.